millions of years for this to form. At one time, this was just solid limestone. There were no holes, no openings, no cracks, no nothing. Just solid limestone. Limestone is that gray rock that you see outside. This is the same rock. It looks a little different in here because there's a coating of a mineral called calcite on it. Calcite's a mineral that comes from the limestone. Mm -hmm. So all of this is that plain old gray rock like you see outside. It just has that little layer of calcite on it. This nice sheer wall, we call this the master joint wall. We're going to follow it down 16 stories, and I'll point it out to you from time to time. Millions of years ago, this wall wasn't vertical. It was horizontal. But in the forming of the mountains here, the rippling and the buckling of the plates, it started pushing this section up into this position. When it first started moving up, it fractured the rock that was here. When that rock formation, when the water's running at an angle on the ceiling as it runs down, it deposits the minerals there, giving us this type formation. Some people call them draperies. Some people call them curtains. Some people call them bacon formations. And I'll show you why they call them bacon formations later on. The little hairy looking things up here, these are tree roots from the trees above us. They make it all the way down here. Let's move on down. Sitting here, little face there, little face there. They call them the touching twins because Mercer knew people would be curious and want to touch something. So they allowed his visitors to touch this formation, get their curiosity out, and maybe they will leave everything else alone. And it kind of works out two ways as far as you could go. But there is a small fracture that continues on to the surface. Water seeps in through that fracture. As long as there's water seeping in that hole, we'll continue to get larger. To the right of it, we have a smaller one. This one has what we call flowstone coming out of it. And they call this one the diamond cascade. And they call it that because of the little sparkling particles there. They're just pure... Uh, particles of calcite. Okay, across the way over here, we have the largest formation here. This is called a column, and a column forms when the stalactite and the stalagmite meets. And that's about 12 feet tall, they estimate it to being about a million years old. Now, if you look, you see how the formations kind of run in a line. Then we have a line running down here and a line running down there. There's a fracture there where a lot of the minerals and water come in, and that's where most of the formations will build up there. Uh, normally, it starts raining here about October. Doesn't matter how hard it rains or how long it rains, it won't start to drip in here until around January. It takes that long for the water to work its way through the rock. Usually stops raining about April or May, but it'll continue to drip in here until about this time of the year. It takes that long for the water to drain out of the rock. And if it starts raining in October and it rained really good until around January, February, if you come in here around March, it sounds like a rainforest. Oh, wow. There's a lot of dripping. And there's a guy in town, actually he's got two stories. He's got one in Murphy's, he's got one in Angel's Camp called Stories in Stone. And he does a geology talk. I always tell people it's like a religious experience. The first thing he... Uh, these are draperies, and these are the biggest and Mercer cabins. Uh, they're called angel wings. There's uh, a couple of new ones. Look. Yes. More angel wings. Yes. There's a calcite on it. When the calcite forms on the rock, there's a chemical reaction between the rock and the calcite that builds up carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide builds up pressure, and that pressure forces the minerals out through little pinholes into this formation. I always tell people it's kind of like oatmeal bubbling up. If your oatmeal bubbled up and got hard, and then more bubbled out of that, that's kind of what's happening here, only in really slow motion. Sometimes they get a little organized like these and come straight out. These are called halectite. Fresh air that we breathe in here, it comes up through that area. We're not sure where it's coming from, all that we know is it's nice fresh air and it's about 55 degrees year round. Some people think there's more cave down there. It's fair for it. It's pretty rare. They say it's only found in about five caves in North America. And from what I hear, this is quite a large deposit of it. And it's all over the place down here. If you look over in this area, quite a bit of it up here. 
and it continues on up into that area. Uh, as you're going through the different passageways down below, you run across little patches of it. So there's quite a bit of it here. We get some geologists. Now we're first. <laughs> say you find fossils and fossils and stuff in the mountains. It's not because of the water levels. Another part of the cavern, won't see it anymore. And these are small water solution holes. Remember we saw the really big water solution hole up top? Well, this is pretty much how it started out. Actually, if you look at this one, you see there's a fracture that runs right through that hole. The fracture was there first. Water seeps in through the fracture, the water dissolves the limestone, opens up a hole, and like I said, as long as there's water seeping in, those holes will continue to get larger and larger and larger. Up here we have some draperies. Uh, some people call it cave lasagna, some people call it ribbon. <laughs> it a bit of a rippling effect there. This is what Mercy used for lights. He didn't have flashlights and things. They did have carbide lanterns in those days, but it probably, I don't know, probably too expensive. Yeah, Thumb, palm of the hand, the wrist, and a couple of fingers going up. Kind of weird looking fingers. This is where Mercy's tour ended. It took them an hour and a half to get here, but when they got here, there was no exit on this side. So when they got here, they had to turn around.